Hi guys, how are you going? It's Campbell here, and uh, I'm just back on to have a quick talk. And I'm gonna, um, not going well, am I <laughs> today? I want to just talk a bit about self confidence and give you a few tips on um, just how you can be more self confident in your life because really it's, it's confidence that holds so many people back, um, and it really comes from just um, you know, lack of self-belief and it's a sort of more believing other people, other people's version of you than yourself. So um, obviously if you're not confident in yourself and confident in going out, talking to people, doing different things, and it can hold you back in life and restrict you. So today I have five tips for you uh, to, yeah, to help you gain more self-confidence. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. So number one is know what you stand for <clears throat> um, you know what is it that you stand for what's what's your philosophy on life like what do you love what do you hate you know what makes you happy and what makes you sad what 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 won't you stand for you know what is it that you want to create and what is it that you want to destroy because you know there's good and bad right I, as well as wanting to build the good, we should also be wanting to do away with the bad. So, you know, who are you? Like, how do you define yourself? And because once we get to know who we are and we have like a structure of, um, of, of what our true beliefs are, um, then it's easier to, to, na to navigate through life because because you've always got a core of something and, and what people say about you doesn't affect you as much if you know who you are and what you stand for. So number one is know what you stand for. All right, my second tip for you is play to your strengths. Um, you know, we all have strengths, we all have weaknesses, um, we all we have gifts, we're all better at some things than, than others, so play to your strengths. Just, you know, spend your time doing what you're good at and get better at it and, and what you're not good at and what you don't enjoy, just forget about it. Because mo um, most of the time, I'm pretty sure it's all the time, um, you'll find that what you're good at is also what you enjoy doing. And if you enjoy doing it, you're going to have more fun doing it and you're going to do it better. You know, it's like a, a self-fulfilling prophecy kind of thing. So play to your strengths, guys. And then when you do that and you have your victories, you know, celebrate your victories as well. You know, pat yourself on the back when, when you do well and, you know, cheer yourself up because, you know, we, we all too often uh, focus on, on, you know, our mistakes and where we think we're failing and, and we haven't done that well rather than focusing on, you know, where we do achieve and where we do get our wins. So focus on that as well. Um, number three is get inspired, guys. Get inspired. You know, what is it you want to do? Who is it you want to be? What is it you want to change? Why are you here? What's your goal? You know, get a picture and a vision of, of who you are and what you want to be and, 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 you know, then you can start working towards it. If you know where you want to go, then you, you can create a map and you can get there. But if you don't know where you want to go, it's pretty hard to get there. It's like the old, you know, the same, you know, a ship with, without a captain, you know, with, it, it's got no direction, has it, you know, or if you take the rudder off, it can't steer anywhere. So it cannot possibly get to its destination. So get inspired. What inspires you? Spend time doing that. Spend time dreaming about it. You know, daydream, guys. Visualise. See it in your imagination and see yourself as doing it now. See it as happening now as a real reality because this, this what it does is it gives us, it, it helps us um, see that, that there's more coming, that there's good stuff coming our way. And, and when, when you know there's good stuff coming your way, then, then you're going to be more confident in, in life because you know that you're one of the ones that, that's got something. You're going somewhere. Most people are just walking around bumping into walls, guys. They're just all pretending. You know, it's, it's just all a big game. They're all pretending that they're doing well, but, but most of them aren't. All right, so um, get inspired. Get inspired with what inspires you and don't worry about what other people say. Just just do what, what you know, what turns you on. All right, number four is be grateful. Be grateful for what you've already got um, because, you know, we've all got so much, especially, you know, if we're in Western countries. And, and you know, basically if you're watching me, you've got a computer, guys, that, so, so you're doing all right. There's some people who don't have running water. There's some people who don't have food. So be grateful what you've, for what you've got. You know, some people have been through some terrible things. You know, there's war and famine in the world. So be grateful for what you've got, but also be grateful for what's coming your way. You know, really, really believe that, that what you want and your goals, they're coming. Believe that and get inspired by that and be thankful for it. Be grateful for it because you know it's coming. It doesn't have to be here. It's like Wayne Dyer said, um, 
you'll see it when you believe it. So believe it now. Okay, and that leads us into the last one is become a believer, guys. Become a believer in you. Okay, believe yourself, guys. The way I'd like to put it is, um, you know, you're always right. You're always right. This is this is what I've always thought, is that I'm right. You know, my what I think and what I believe is always right until I find new information or I'm proven wrong. Um, and obviously this means, you know, obviously harm no other is, is, is the rule, the law. But um yeah, you're always right. You know, people we, we second guess ourselves so often and we think that that um you know we're wrong and other people are right. <coughs> Excuse me. But like I said before, most people are just running around, throwing their opinions around and trying to get as many people to follow them as, as they can, but they don't actually know where they're going or what they're talking about. So become a believer in you. Believe in your dreams, believe in your goals, believe they're possible, believe they're happening now and then you're going to live them. But also just believe in your thoughts and, and the way you see the world. It, it's, it's correct for you guys. It's your perspective. It's what's supposed to be so... Believe in you. Become a believer. So they're my five tips, guys, for more confidence. Uh, they are number one, know what you stand for. Number two, um, play to your strengths. Number three, get inspired. Number four is be grateful. And number five is become a believer in you. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found some uh, something interesting and got some value from this. Um, if you if you like what I do and you like my kind of content, then um, I'll leave a link. I'll put it in the description um, for my private Facebook group. Come along and join. There's heaps more awesome content in there, um, and we'd love to get you inside and have a chat and uh, yeah, move you all forward basically towards the goals that that you want to achieve in your life. So thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon. And as always, guys, look inside yourself because there is greatness in there. Bye for now. Ah, uh, bye.